Alright guys, so in this Photoshop CS5 tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some flame text. Make it look like it's on fire. So, first of all, what we're going to do is come up here and just open a new project. Now I'm just going to make the width 1280 and the height 720. You can choose whatever you want. I'm going to click OK. Now we have this right here. I have a transparent background, so what we're going to do... Just click control, is hold control and hit backspace just to fill it in with black. Next, what we're going to do, come down here to our text tool. Just make a text box. And I'm going to type. No. I'll do a, a username for YouTube. OJ69. Okay, Alright, so. We're just going to move it wherever we want it at. Use, up here, using the click on the move tool, just to move it wherever we want it. And then we're going to come up here to edit, transform, and rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. Now the reason that we're doing this is because we're going to go up here to filter, stylize, and click wind. It's going to ask you to rasterize it if you haven't done it already. Click OK. Now what we're going to do is come down here and make sure it's from the left. Because if it's from the left, it's going to start down here and come to the top of the text. Just click OK. Alright, so now that's what that's going to look like. So we want a little bit more, so we'll go back up to filter and just hit wind one more time. So that looks good. Now we're going to go to edit, transform, Rotate 90 degrees back, 90 degrees counterclockwise, so it's back to the way we started. Now that that's like that, I'm going to add a blur to it. So we're going to go up here to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Now you can choose whatever you want. 5 looks pretty good for me. So just click OK. One second. Alright. So next what we're going to do is go up here to image and, and go to apply image. Click OK. One second. Alright. So now what we're going to do is come up here and uh, make sure your mode. Hang on. Go up to image, mode, and make sure your mode is on RGB color. It's going to say that... Uh, it, you need to merge the layers before uh, mode change. So just click merge, and then it'll merge your background in the text. See now, now you can't uh, move your text around anymore. So next, what we're gonna do is okay. Now what we're gonna do is make sure that this is selected. Just hit Control and U, and come down here and click Colorize. Bring your saturation all the way up to 100 and choose a nice orange font that you think would look good for a fire. So I think 49 is going to be about good. So just choose which color you want. Click OK. <clears throat> now what we're going to do is come up here to filter and go to liquify. Alright, so now we're going to start off, come over here to your brush size and we're going to start off with about oh, size 60. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just click and drag up so it looks like flames. Now if you drag kind of just like straight up, that doesn't look very good. So you can kind of drag and swirl as you're going up so it looks kind of like more of a flame. So we're just going to do this with the text here. Until it looks about good. Oops. Okay, now what you can also do is come over here and change your brush size down to about 30. And you can make some smaller ones in here. Kind of coming off the bigger ones if you'd like. Or just anywhere on your letters. Just make it look however you'd like it. Alright, so that looks about good right there. 
Um, hang on. Put some more flames here on the sides. Oops. That doesn't look too good. Alright. Alright, so that looks about good right there. So when you finish uh, editing it and making it look like how you'd like it, come up here and just click OK. It's gonna do that right there. And then you're gonna have your, uh, your fire text. But next, what we're gonna wanna do is to enhance the letters a little bit more so you can actually, it's a little bit more visible. We're gonna come over here to the text tool. Just make another text box. And write the same thing that you have your writing as. Okay, now we're going to come up here to the move tool. We're just going to move this right on top of the letters. Alright, now what we're going to do is come over here and choose overlay. So it blends in a little bit better. And if you want to, you could always come in here and uh, choose soft light also to make it blend just a little bit better. Alright, so that's been uh, showing you guys how to make some uh, fairly easy fire text. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, just let me know, leave a comment, leave me a message, uh, whatever you'd like to do. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. So uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Thanks.